the Father whispered to me. I heard him as if at my side. Go to you, Go tell Mary. And on a wave of worship, I flew, this time alone. I circled through the clouds and over the ground. Below me was the city where Mary was born. The Father was right. I knew her in an instant. Her heart had no shadow, and her soul was as pure as any I had ever seen. I made the final descent. Mary, I kept my voice low as not to startle her. She covered her face at the light and shrank into the protection of the doorway. Don't be afraid, I urged. The minute I spoke, she looked up in the sky. I praised my father for his wisdom. Her heart was so flawless and so willing. Greetings, God be with you. Her eyes widened and then she turned as if to run. Mary, you have nothing to fear. You have found favor with God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will rule Jacob's house forever. No end ever to his kingdom. And though she was listening, she was puzzled. But how? I've never slept with a man. Before I spoke, I looked up into the heavens. The Father was standing, giving me his blessing. I continued, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy Son of God. Nothing you see is impossible with God. Mary looked at me and then up into the sky. And for a long time she gazed into the blueness, so long that I too looked up. Did she see the angels? Did the heavens open? I do not know. But I do know that when I looked back at her, she was smiling. Yes, I see it all now. I'm the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. And as she spoke, a light appeared in her 